Hello, little scientists. Welcome back. We're going to continue our journey to explore the world from home. In our last episode, we learned to describe the properties of different materials. How many different properties can you still remember? Let's play a game. Let's play the copycat game. I say something and you will follow. But the trick is, you will say the opposite. I will try to tell you one property, and you will say the opposite. Challenge accepted? Yeah. Now before we play the game, you can pause the video and quickly go grab your vocabulary mat. Yeah, you may get the answer more quickly. But if you think you know it so well already, try to go without the mat and see if you know it. Do you need to pause the video? So, let me begin, all right? I have something really soft here. So cozy. What is the opposite? I hope you got it right. It's hard. Materials can be soft and the opposite. Materials can be hard. How did you do in your first round? Well, we're going to go on the next one. Ready? Now you cannot see me because I'm blocked by something opaque. It doesn't let light to pass through, and you won't see me. So, what is the opposite? One, two, three. Right on. Transparent or clear. Things can be opaque, and things can be transparent, which will let light pass through, and you can see it through. We're going to go a bit faster. Are you ready? This is something dull. Doesn't bounce off light that easily. What is the opposite? One, two, three. Yep, shiny. Let's go for the next one. This one, very smooth. What is the opposite? Right, it's rough. It's bumpy. Let's keep going. This is something stiff. What's the opposite? One, two, three. All right. Stretchy. As you might have noticed, an object can have more than one properties. Let's take a look at this towel. Well, it is smooth, but it's not that stretchy. It's made of fabric, but I have my pajamas here. What? It is smooth, but it is stretchy. These two items are made from fabric, but they behave differently. Do you know why? You might need to check their labels, look at the tags, and you will notice that they are made from different kinds of fabric. How do you know how materials behave? Well, you can sometimes tell by just looking at the materials which properties they have. But sometimes you have to do a few tests to see how they behave, and it's more fun to get our hands on it. Today we're going to do something fun. We're going to do a property testing from home. We're going to look around and find some objects and we're going to test them to see how they behave. Let's say I have this oven glove with me. It is made from rubber. And I want to know, I wonder if it is waterproof. I wonder if it will stop water from going in. How are you going to test this? Are you going to dip it into water? Well, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the glove on. And we're going to put this oven glove into a bucket of water. What do you think? Do you think it is waterproof and it will keep my hands dry? You may have to test it yourself. Now, the testing is pretty straightforward. You should have worksheets in front of you and you will notice you have two sets of worksheets here. You have the blank ones or the ones with pictures. Now, Say the ones we're working on right now is the one with pictures. Take a look. Straw. And you should be able to name the materials straws are made from. Mm, the straws that I have at home, they are made from plastic. And it's a bendy or not bendy. Well, I test them. Or I don't even have to test them because I know it right on. It's bendy. You might say, Mr. Chang, I know all the answers right off. I don't even have to test them. Hmm. I know you're smart, but it will be more fun if you can test it 
and try it yourself again. How far can you bend the straw? How bendable is it? Have you ever bent a spoon? You know you can do that. Now it comes to a very important issue here: safety. How are you going to be safe when you try something and test something? Rule number one: you have to be gentle. Test the things gently, for they might snap or break easily. So be careful, and put it away from your eyes, so that when something accidentally happen, it will not hurt your eyes. Rule number two: ask for permission. If those objects belong to your parents, better ask them before testing them. If you break some of your mommy or daddy or your brothers or sisters' objects. They're gonna feel very sad, so be gentle and ask for permission. Safety is the rule. I'm also giving you a blank set. You have the freedom to choose whatever you want to be tested. Try it out. Look for something interesting at home that you want to test. You can use the pictures that I provide you, and cut those pictures out. Stick them on the way you like to test, or you can use your own objects. And then draw them in. Have fun testing the different objects. You will soon become an expert in describing materials. Well, thanks for working very hard at home. If you have a chance to go out for some fun, to a park, for example, keep in mind that you can also explore and learn more about the materials. You can find out the different properties by looking or even by touching. I love to touch the bark of the trees. And in my area, there is a paper bark tree. If you punch it, it feels like you're punching a stack of paper. It's quite fun. And you know, God has made such a wonderful world for us to explore, and we need to learn how to take good care of it. So, keep exploring. Until next time, see you soon.